explore Dora's Shape Adventure. One day, Dora was reading a story to Boots. In a faraway place called Shape World, there lived a little boy named Pedro. Pedro's favorite toy was a diamond-shaped kite. One afternoon, a fine breeze was blowing, so Pedro took his kite outside and it sailed up, up, up into the sky. But suddenly the wind changed and the kite flew into the branches of a tall tree. Pedro pulled on the string, but the kite wouldn't move. It was stuck. Help! My kite! cried Pedro. How will I get it loose? needs our help, Dora shouted. Vamanos! Hooray! Let's go, Dora! Boots agreed. Boots took Dora's hand and together they jumped into the storybook. <laughs> Dora and Boots landed in Shape World. How do we find Pedro? Boots wondered. Let's ask Map, Dora suggested. Map! Map! They called Map hopped right out of Backpack's side pocket. Hola, Map, said Dora. Can you help us find Pedro? No problem, said Map. First, you go over Triangle Mountain, then across Circle Lake, and then through Square Gate. That's how you'll find Pedro. Dora looked around. There are some mountains, she said. But which one is Triangle Mountain? It's the one that's pointy on top, Boots exclaimed. You're right, said Dora. But how do we get over it? Suddenly, the book in Dora's hand flopped open. Boots, there's a message on the page, said Dora. Listen. If you want to fly through the air, look for a circle with a square. Do you see a circle and a square? Dora asked. There! A hot air balloon! shouted Boots. Yes, that's a circle and a square, Dora said excitedly. And a hot air balloon can fly through the air. The two friends jumped into the balloon and soon they were flying over Triangle Mountain. Boots looked at all the shapes below. Where do we go next, Dora? He asked. Dora repeated Map's directions. Triangle Mountain, Circle Lake, Square Gate. Circle Lake is next. Look, Dora, shouted Boots. There are three lakes. Which one is Circle Lake? Dora pointed at the round lake in the middle. The hot air balloon landed right beside it. This is it! Boots exclaimed. But how do we get across the lake? With a flap, the book opened to a new page. Dora read the message to Boots. A crescent and a triangle will take you right across Circle Lake. Do you see a crescent and a triangle? She asked. I see a raft, said Boots, but it's shaped like a rectangle, not a triangle. Look, Boots, called Dora. That boat is shaped like a crescent, and it has a sail that's shaped like a triangle. Let's go, said Boots. Soon they were sailing across Circle Lake. Square Gate is next, called Dora. In a little while, Dora and Boots came to a large wall with three gates. Which one is Square Gate? asked Dora. The red one is round and the yellow one has three sides, said Boots. The blue one has four sides that are all the same, Dora said. This must be Square Gate. Boots tried to open the gate. Oh no, 
It's locked, he groaned. How do we open it? Flip, 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 went the pages of the book. Dora read out loud. Find an oval and a rectangle too, to open the door and let you through. Do you see a rectangle or an oval? Dora asked. There's an oval, said Boots, pointing at a hole in a tree. Dora reached into the hole and pulled out a box. And this is a rectangle, she said. She opened it. Inside was a large shiny key. Wow, shouted Boots. Let's try it. He fit the key into the lock. The gate opened. There stood Pedro, still holding the kite string. He waved sadly to Dora and Boots. My kite is stuck, he told them. I don't think I'll ever get it back. Don't worry, Pedro, said Dora. I'll bet there's something in Backpack we can use. Backpack, Backpack, Dora and Boots called. We need something to help us climb this tree. What could they use? Dora climbed up the ladder and through the branches. She reached up as high as she could and caught hold of the kite string. Dora took a deep breath and counted to three. Uno, dos, tres. Then she tugged gently on the string and the kite dropped right into her hand. I've got it, Dora called down to Pedro and Boots. Dora climbed down the ladder and handed the kite to Pedro. Gracias, Pedro exclaimed. Thank you for rescuing my kite. De nada, said Dora. You're welcome. Would you like to fly my kite with me? Pedro asked shyly. We'd love to, laughed Dora and Boots. And the three friends ran off with Pedro's kite sailing up, up, up into the sky. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and share and follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And for more Dora the Explorer stories, check out my Dora the Explorer playlist. And if you enjoyed this story, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Thank you. See you next time.